My name is Dr. Olivia Robokuna. I'm a lecturer at SOS, the School of Law specifically. I teach on law and development. Based on the African context that I was born in and that I come from, I could not just engage with law theoretically and legal principles and procedures without looking at law in context and how law influences people's lives. From that point of view, I'm also interested in the most marginalized, the most discriminated, and women come to the fore within the African context. The best way to empower them and transform their society through law is to ensure that they have more access to land. And they are the most marginalized when it comes to access to land through customary systems and cultural systems, but also through the legal system itself that borrows and engages, interacts with these cultural systems and has been colonized. And so I wanted to set up a project that brings in the voices of women throughout Africa, engaging with law from this particular point of view. We've been focusing on broad legal policy or practice issues. But I think if we're able to identify case studies specifically... In terms of how the forum now developed, the participation reflects versions and views from different parts of Africa. So it was conceptualized as a regional project that brings in comparative elements of how law and policy has been implemented in different countries in Africa. Um, it was also conceptualized as an intergenerational project that ensures that the views and participation that is brought in reflects different groups of people that have worked within this area. So from people who have been working on property rights in relation to women um, on the African continent from early on in the 80s um, um, to people who have actually now just entered the field or gotten out of school. So for me, I was fresh out of university. I had not even imagined in my wildest dreams that I would have an international engagement. I got experience and exposure to different jurisdictions. I gained colleagues, connections. And it also reflected different levels of participation and different levels of engagement. So we had policymakers, people who were at the forefront of implementing laws and making decisions. We also had academics, people who were involved in teaching and research. Um, we had community workers, people who were working down on the ground. Sometimes we read papers, we read books, but when you actually go to the field, you find that the perspectives are different, the realities are different, and maybe that calls for a different approach to deal with those specific issues in a particular community. The women within the group are already working together and supporting each other in different endeavors, whether it's research support, whether it's supporting completing PhD programs or projects, whether it's supporting participating in initiatives that one has, if it's workshops, seminars, guest lectures. The impact is in having a community to draw from that might have done these things, literally, and a community that is ready to offer you support to implement those reforms in your own area. And so SOS was the one place that could bring together all my interests, the legal interest, the regional interest, that is Africa, the development and transformation interest, the decolonized approach interest, to dealing with the marginalized, the, the downtrodden, that is SOS's bread and butter. I love what I do, and what I do is not just about being a researcher, but changing people's lives, because it's important for the context I come from to, to not just theorize, to theorize, but also transform.